during some of the most treacherous and unpredictable situations, you'll need to know how to make it out alive. There are a lot of rumors and myths out there about the best ways to survive certain events, but how many of those actually work? Can some of those myths actually be more harmful in the long run? From the first things you need to do during a nuclear apocalypse, to stuff you should avoid eating in the wilderness, here are the most dangerous survival tips. Hey guys, how's it going? This is your host, American Eye. Now make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and ring that bell for notifications. Now let's get started. But first, quick shout out goes to Autogirl for leaving us this comment. Let us know your survival tips and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 14. Don't eat the snow. If you get stuck in a frozen forest where you're completely surrounded by snow, you might be tempted to eat some of it in order to survive. However, this is not a great idea and your body will spend more energy turning the snow into water. You will also lose some body heat by doing this and even risk getting brain freeze. Just because the snow looks clean doesn't mean that it actually is. Snow is still a valuable resource though and you can turn it easily into drinking water by boiling it first. Once it's boiled, it will also sanitize the water and keep you safe from depleting your energy also. And if the snow is yellow, stay away. Number 13. Keep the knife lodged. Imagine you're on the streets of a dangerous neighborhood and as you're walking around, you feel a sharp and cold sensation enter your body. Someone takes your valuables and runs off. You notice you have a blade sticking out of you. What should you do? Don't remove the knife if you get stabbed right away. Keeping a knife or bullet lodged where it is for the time being is the right thing to do here. The object is likely keeping some blood from leaking out of you and it's best to have a medic handle the situation as opposed to doing it yourself. Number 12. Scavenge the wreckage. If you're on some kind of big passenger jet or large ship and it goes down, what should you do? It might have crashed somewhere in the ocean and random objects might start to appear floating ashore or even floating out there in the ocean somewhere. This could be a crucial moment for you to gather items that you certainly won't be able to get when you're exploring the deserted island. Take a little extra time to scavenge what few items you can find. Just finding one fully stocked suitcase could be like providing you a jackpot for survival. Even things that you might think were useless at first, such as water bottles, could prove to be very important supplies later on. If you don't find any extra supplies, don't worry, survival is going to be difficult, but it's still possible. Number 11. Aloe Vera While you're roughing it out in the wilderness somewhere, something that might be extremely annoying are all those bug bites and sunburns. Being able to soothe that pain can certainly become an advantage mentally while you're trying to rough it out. Aloe Vera is found most often growing in wild tropical areas. After cutting into the leaves of the aloe vera, the gel is found to work quite well on sunburns and might even save your skin while you're resisting the elements. It can also be used as a shampoo, as a laxative, a mouthwash, and will leave heartburn. Just be careful of the prickly pines though, and make sure it's actually aloe vera. Drinking cactus water isn't such a great survival hack since sometimes the water can actually prove to be poisonous. It's best to search for water in the desert at night to conserve your energy as best as possible. Number 10. Coconuts if you find yourself trapped on a deserted island, one of the best plants you can find here that will aid your survival is the coconut tree. The coconuts will provide you with a great source of protein and fatty oils to keep you alive. Not only that, but inside the coconut, you'll find sterile water or coconut milk which will hydrate you and give you energy. After you've eaten the coconut meat, the coconut shell could prove to be useful in capturing rainwater. Consider counting the number of coconuts on a tree and be ready to hack them open if you see them fall. Be careful though not to eat it too much or it may cause problems. And ladies, don't forget, you can use the shells for a makeshift bra as well. Number 9. Nuclear Strike Survival Tips With today's technology, you're going to need much more than ducking and covering. It's preferred that you head to a building made of brick or concrete and take cover inside a basement. Go as far below as ground as possible. Also, whatever you do, don't look directly into the blast or you may have to wear sunglasses for the rest of your life. Surviving a nuclear apocalypse is already difficult enough, you don't want to have to do it while you're blind too. During the blast, you might also want to make sure you're lying flat on the ground with your hands over your head. The shock waves from the blast are certainly strong enough to send you flying through the air at high speeds. The levels of nuclear radiation will go down exponentially after the blast, but expect to stay inside for at least 24 hours. This is why a hand crank radio will come in handy. You need to look for news that will give you valuable information. Just by removing your outer layer of clothing, you can also remove about 90% of the radioactive material that's settled on your body. Place the contaminated clothing into a plastic bag, seal it, and dispose of it quickly. When possible, take a shower with lots of soap to remove further contamination. Number 8. Hurricanes 
Hurricanes have been known to completely devastate tropical areas, but with a few survival tips, you may be able to survive these monstrous storms. Strong winds rotate around what's known as the eye, and this can produce large amounts of heavy rain. It's very important that you listen to a radio to find out weather updates and for safe zones during the event of a hurricane. If possible, get into a cellar or underground bunker. If you don't have access to such a facility, find a place in the middle of a big room as far away from the windows as possible. You can also secure your home with storm shutters. Keep your car full of gas in case you're recommended to flee the area. Turn off all your propane tanks to prevent explosions as well as your electricity. Make sure you're fully stocked with food and water. If the hurricane begins to calm down, you could just be in the eye of the storm, so don't leave unless instructed to do so. Number 7. Jam it back in While it might not be a matter of living and not living, you definitely don't want to be missing your teeth. You ever thought about getting into a bar fight with a person that's hitting on your girlfriend but didn't want to risk losing your teeth? In some cases, a tooth that's been knocked out can be saved. But this is only if you're able to jam it back into the empty socket within 5 minutes of getting punched. Do not scrub or clean the tooth since this could remove important tissue. If the tooth doesn't go back into place, make sure you put it into a glass of milk or a sterile saline solution. Then head to the dentist immediately. Number 6. No Campfire in Cave It might seem like a good idea at first to build a campfire inside a cave, and you're probably thinking that this would be safe since cavemen used to do it all the time. Well, not all caves are built equally, and making a campfire inside a cave can certainly cause some issues. Fires use up a lot of oxygen, and depending on how far away you are from the entrance, you might end up using too much and asphyxiate yourself. The heat emitted from a cave fire can also cause the ceilings of the cave to expand and cause a collapse. Think this is totally crazy? Well, in 2009, a group of campers were victims of a cave collapse due to a campfire. It might even be able to ignite certain flammable gases that are stored inside the cave. So watch out! Number 5. Don't eat everything While trying to survive in the forest, it's better to be safe than sorry. This means avoiding certain plants. Toxic plants often have similar characteristics too. Plants with thorns don't look too appetizing to begin with, so it's best just to avoid them for the most part. Avoid eating any plants that contain almond-like odor. This can also carry a deadly poison called cyanide. Avoid three leaf growth patterns like poison ivy, poison oak, and poison sumac. Anything with a bitter or soapy taste, spit it out immediately. Don't get too close to it if it has a strange, milky-colored sap. Also, if you see any plants look like this, don't eat it. It's the castor oil plant that creates ricin, and it's extremely deadly. Number 4. Don't shake the vending machine Vending machines contain all kinds of crazy products nowadays, especially if you live in Japan, but you should really avoid shaking those things. Shaking a vending machine at the very best might give you a free soda, but is it worth the entire machine falling and landing on top of you? In fact, you're more than twice as likely to be involved in a vending machine accident than you are to be involved in a shark attack. Number 3. Don't pee on the sting you might have heard it from somewhere that it's a good idea to have your friend or yourself pee on a jellyfish sting. You might have heard that the chemical in your urine can actually numb the pain. The only problem is that this is a horrible idea unless for some reason you just want to get peed on. Jellyfish can cause quite a bit of pain and it comes from nematocyst found in jellyfish venom that becomes attached to anything that it touches. While most jellyfish can cause severe harm, you can bet your money that those stings are going to itch and bother you for quite some time. The best thing you can do to reduce the pain is actually to pour vinegar on it or even salt water urine might actually cause more irritation. Number 2. Alcohol to stay warm Contrary to popular belief in Russia, drinking large amounts of vodka might not be the best thing to do if you're trying to stay warm. You might feel like it's warm in your belly after drinking some, but it's sort of a sneaky lie that your body plays on you. Alcohol can actually cause your blood vessels to dilate, which might make you feel warmer, but it plays no role increasing your body temperature. This might lead to hypothermia if you're not careful, especially if you pass out drunk during a snowstorm. And number 1. Don't eat what other animals eat Another common misconception when it comes to surviving is eating whatever animals are eating. You might assume that since something else is eating seeds or leaves that it's safe for human consumption. That's not always the case and there are many animals out there who have adapted to digesting poisonous material. Birds and squirrels are capable of digesting various mushrooms, berries and seeds that would be downright excruciating for humans. Pigeons, vultures and crows can enjoy a feast when it comes to harmful bacteria that our stomachs are not exposed to. So don't just jump to conclusions. Focus on getting a fresh source of water before you start eating random berries. 